In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the system settings and explain some of them to you. So let's use the menu button. That's this third one on the left. We'll hit it twice. Then we're going to scroll down using the toggle button to set up and push it directly in as an enter. First option is system, so we'll select that. And then we have a few options in system. First one is a satellite system. Right now, because I'm indoors, I have it on demo mode, but I could select GPS and GLONASS. So GPS is the Navstar system, the North American uh, Global Navigation Satellite System, and GLONASS is the Russian version of GPS. Having these two systems will help you track about twice as many satellites, so when you're in areas that are hard to track, you're going to get a position where others can't. And then we could just have it on GPS only. So I'm going to leave it on demo mode. And then we have our WAS and EGNOS. So WAS is Wide Area Augmentation System. So that's our differential corrections. If we go into here, we could turn them on. If you're in an area with WAS or EGNOS, EGNOS is the European version, select it to be on because you're going to get better accuracy. And then our language. This unit's useful all over the world. So we could go into language here and change the language. Right now, I only have English loaded. But you could use the Garmin Web Updater to load other languages. Then we have our battery type. Right now it's set to alkaline. If you put nickel metal hydrates in the rechargeables or lithiums, you're going to want to change this setting so the battery meters read correctly. And last we have our USB mode. So when you plug this into the computer right now, it's going to go into mass storage mode. So it's going to act like a hard drive. So you could just drag and drop files onto the unit or you could have it speak Garmin mode. The e series, the new e series that is, will not do NMEA. That was a quick look at the system settings of your Garmin e 10.